Hi guys, welcome to MandyArtMarket.com. I am Mandy. I'm going to show you how I drew my latest set of woodland animals. They're drawn sort of freeform and I used um, my iPad Pro and an Apple Pencil and Procreate. Let's get started. Okay, so as usual, I am starting off with a really rough sketch of what I want to put down in the set. So these are <laughs> super rough and just to give me an idea of what I'm going to include um, and where it's going to be placed on the page. So I'm drawing an owl. Hopefully you can tell what these are. I'm drawing an owl, a bear, a bunny, a fox, a deer, a raccoon, a squirrel, a hedgehog, and a little birdie. And then I threw in some flowers and leaves and berries just to make it look a little bit more colorful. Um, so after I'm done with the first layer, I will um, set the opacity down to about 30 on that layer and then I'm going to go over it with another pencil layer that is a little bit uh, more detailed and starting to get things um, worked out to the exact shape and size that I want them. And this time I'll include details like the ears and the eyes and the nose um, in the right size and place. Okay, and now I've dimmed out that layer a little bit. Um, obviously this is sped way, way up <laughs> in case you couldn't tell. Um, so in this third layer, I am going back in with, I believe it's called a gel pen brush in Procreate. It's a nice smooth um, brush that creates a really uh, smooth defined line. So I'm going back over my drawing with that. And this is going to be the actual line that ends up in the final art set. So I'm going very carefully to make sure that I get everything exactly the way I want it. You can see that I it flashes a lot. That's because I erase the lines a ton of times as I'm going. I draw and erase, draw and erase, draw and erase to make sure that everything's in the exact spot that and the exact shape that I want it to be. I don't want to have any stray lines in this one because they are going to end up in the final files. I really like the look of those little lines. I don't know what you guys think, but I've seen them um, in a lot of different clip art lately, and I think they add a little bit of texture. I think they look nice. So one thing that's really important to keep in mind when doing these lines is that you make the um, the shapes fully closed because I'm going to go back in later on and fill in the color using the drop tool, the drop bucket. Um, actually, I don't know if that's the right name for it, but it's the color drop tool in um, Procreate. And I, I made the branch and the stump there on a different layer because I'm going to end up, end up putting the... Um, animal over top of them, but I do want to include those in the set as well as individual pieces. So now that I've got that third layer done and all the lines are defined, I'm using that drop bucket, color dropper bucket, <laughs> I don't even know what it's called, the color dropper tool um, to drop in the colors that I want and give the characters their final color. I had to undo some stuff there because I think I had it on the wrong layer. But there we go. Great, so the drawing is all done and I will pop this over to um, Illustrator and use the live trace feature to trace these into vector um, files. I'll separate each one, I'll put together a little cover for my website and Etsy Creative Market 
all of the different places where this will end up. Um, and that's it. It'll be available for download on mandyartmarket.com if you want to use it in your own uh, projects. And that's that. Thanks for watching. Bye.